Now, if someone says, I understand that the Quran should be the main, the main source of guidance. I understand that. And there are plenty of proofs about the Quran. وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ uh, we, we send down of the Qur'an that is a healing and a mercy to the believers. ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ هُدًا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ هُدًا لِلنَّاسِ I understand this. And I understand that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sent to humanity to explain the book. And that Allah established the authority of his sunnah. That his sunnah should be the second source of guidance. I understand this. But I am a lay person. person once someone can say this. I don't have a specialized knowledge of sharia. I don't have a degree in Islamic studies. I need a guide, someone to guide me. Because I want to follow the right path, Sirat al-Mustaqeem. That Allah asked me to pray for it on a daily basis. And I don't have the ability to understand the arguments and the look into the ayat and the ahadith and come up with rulings. I need help. How can we solve this problem? Allah has solved it. In two ayat, and there are other ayat that talk about the people of knowledge, but these ayat are very clear. فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ In Surah Al-Anbiya, Ayah 7, and Surah Al-Nahl, if I'm not mistaken, Ayah 43. فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ Ask the people of knowledge if you do not know. Sometimes they are called Ahl al-Dhikr, sometimes they are called Ahl al-Ilm. Ahl al-Ilm, the people of knowledge. But the Quran didn't say that Ahl al-Ilm are infallible, ma'asumeen. The Quran didn't say that. There is no proof. If you bring me a proof tonight, then I will change my, the, the whole... The whole lecture, I will change it. If you pray, bring me a proof that Allah said in the Quran that these people of knowledge who are supposed to guide people are infallible, ma'asumeen. They don't make a mistake. He didn't say that these people of knowledge know ilm al-ghayb. They know ilm al-ghayb, the knowledge of the unseen. Or they have access to the knowledge of the unseen. He didn't say that. عالم الغيب فلا يظهر على غيبه أحدا إلا من ارتضى من رسول. الله is saying he's the one who knows the the knowledge of the unseen. He does not give access to this knowledge to anyone except to his messengers. Messengers and prophets, Allah taught them some of علم الغيب, not everything. The absolute knowledge of علم الغيب is with Allah سبحانه وتعالى. He knows what will happen in the future. Otherwise, if we have people who know ilm al-ghayb, why they don't help us? Why are, are they not able to solve the problems of Muslims in Yemen and Syria and Pakistan and in, uh, in Kashmir and in China? Why? If they have the power, because the, not, the Quran doesn't say that they have the power to control the universe. The walaya taqwini. أو الولاية التكوينية. الولاية التكوينية in the in the concept in the عقيدة of some people that they have the power to control the universe. If they have the power to control the universe, they should go to Burma and help the Muslims, help the Muslims of China, in Kashmir, in India, in Yemen. If they have this power. He didn't say that. He didn't say that they have to be from the family of the Prophet. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Even though some of them were great scholars. Like Ali ibn Abi Talib. Radiyallahu anhu. May Allah be pleased with him. He was a great scholar. Mushtahid. He was a great man. Great, great scholar. Some of his children or descendants were great scholars. Ja'far al-Sadiq. Ja'far al-Sadiq was one of the teachers of Imam Malik. 
and he taught Al Imam Shafi'i and some other scholars. Muhammad al Baqir was one of the great scholars who lived in Medina. So, yes, some of the family of the Prophet were great scholars, but the Quran doesn't say that they have to be from the family of the Prophet. We have many scholars, thousands of scholars, they are not from the family of the Prophet. Some of them were not Arabs, great scholars. In Islam, they were not Arabs. They came from Persia, they came from Afghanistan, they came from uh, uh, Russia nowadays, you know, those places beside Russia, uh, Turkmenistan and Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. They are not Arabs, but they, are, they were great scholars. Imam Tirmidhi, Imam al Nasa'i, Al Imam, uh, you know, uh, Abu Dawood, uh, Imam Al Tabari, many scholars, they are not Arabs. So they are not from the family of the Prophet. But we are one Ummah. This, everyone has access to this knowledge, Yahwan. Everyone has the right to come to this book and study it and become a scholar. And people will see guidance from him because he learned. He, taught, he learned. He went to university or he traveled and met scholars and studied under them. And mashallah, collected a good amount of knowledge. So he became a source of guidance in his community. The Quran doesn't say that they have to be from the family of the Prophet. If, if you insist, if someone insists, yes, they have to be ma'sumin, infallible, they have to have this power uh, to control the universe, they have to know ilm al-ghayb, then bring, bring me a proof. Because the Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah, we decided to make the Quran as a main source of guidance, right? The Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah says, about the Yahud. Al Yahud and Nasara made a claim. They said only Jews and Christians will enter Jannah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said this is a wishful thinking. They said only Jews and Christians Nasara. This is their wishful thinking. Say, O Muhammad, produce your proof if you are truthful in your claim. If you are saying the truth, then produce your proof. The Quran is based, or the deen, is based on proofs. It's not blind faith. Blind faith does not help us on the day of judgment. When I follow someone blindly, he will not help me on the day of judgment. Why? Because the Quran says that your family will not help you. Your mother will run away from you. Your father will run away from you. Your children, your brothers. A day when a man will flee, will run away from his brother. He ran away from his father and mother. He ran away from his wife and his children. Everyone is concerned, will be concerned with his own safety.